in owning and handling any firearm. Safety should be your first and foremost responsibility. Following are the 10 safety recommendations used and encouraged by responsible gun owners. Wilson's, the choice of champions. For more than 15 years, Bill Wilson has been at the forefront of competitive pistol shooting. First, as a champion master class competitor and an internationally recognized pistol smith. Today, Wilson is known as the world's leading manufacturer of pistol parts and accessories for both competition and self-defense handguns. From the classic competition match trigger to the all-new Ultima Lube high-tech gun lubricants, Wilson's Gun Shop continues to be the leading innovator of quality parts and accessories for competition and self-defense handguns. Wilson's Gun Shop is dedicated to being the nation's number one custom handgun and accessory company by not only offering the highest quality and service, but by providing you with the most complete selection of precision parts and accessories for all types of handgunning. Wilson's gunsmithing and competition proven auto pistol accessories have been used by champions for more than 15 years and continue to be so as they were an integral part of the pistol used by Jerry Barnhart in his winning bid for the 1992 USPSA National Championship. The gun is probably the easiest gun I've ever had to shoot. Um, it feels like it's shooting itself and I'm just standing there holding it. You know, it's, I really like the gun. You know, as usual, Wilson did a good job as far as putting it together. It's super accurate, it's reliable. It, you know, it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. The Wilson Combat Shock Buff has been a standard of champion competition shooters for more than 10 years. Its performance has been competition proven as over 600,000 units have been sold. The original Wilson Combat Shock Buff is still the best and the new Shock Buff recoil systems are designed to improve functioning, accuracy, safety, and of course, to extend the life of your gun by absorbing some of the pounding from heavier loads. The Wilson Combat Guide Rods and the patented Group Gripper Kits improve accuracy of stock barrels by forcing the rear of the barrel up into the locking lugs of the slide under heavy spring tension. Eight different models are available to help you get the most accuracy and reliability with your handgun. 
Wilson's manufactures a complete line of high-quality auto pistol sights. From the original number three Wilson Combat High Visibility Combat Sights to the new number 367T Night Eyes Tritium Insert Night Sights, incorporating the famous three-dot sight picture, which is ideal for shooting in low-light conditions. And when it comes to competition auto pistol accessories, there's no match to Wilson's quality and selection. Wilson's rounds out its line of parts and accessories with the highest quality barrels and compensator kits available and a complete selection of Series 47 advanced pistol magazines. These items adhere to the most stringent tolerances in the industry. As American Handgunner Magazine says, Wilson's parts and accessories are matched only by the quality and beauty of the pistols produced by the master craftsman at Wilson's Gun Shop. Exacting attention to detail is what sets a Wilson Combat pistol apart, from the precisely hand-cut metal checkering to the exquisitely hand-polished finish. Every facet of a gun destined to wear the proud hallmark of Wilson Combat is brought to the highest level of perfection. It's not just the flawless cosmetics either. Inside the heart of a Wilson Combat Pistol, you'll find the same dedication to detail. The slide to frame fit is meticulously matched for maximum accuracy and reliability. The trigger action is perfected with the most advanced Wilson Combat components and then honed with skilled hands for a light, crisp let off. And the match grade Wilson barrel is precisely hand fitted for X-ring accuracy. Wilson's custom handguns are the standard by which all others are measured. The highest quality parts, the most innovative designs, and the best service in the industry. Quality. It's not just a concept. It's a way of life at Wilson's. The choice of champions. Shoot it ready. Stand by. Bill Wilson is a world-renowned gunsmith and competition shooter. He is an inventor and a writer, as well as the founder of Wilson's Gun Shop, located in Berryville, Arkansas, where they manufacture and distribute quality custom pistols and pistol parts and accessories for competition, law enforcement, military, and self-defense applications. Congratulations and uh, thank you for your selection of Wilson's Gun Shop to customize your custom handgun. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to go over a few fine points about these pistols uh, that hopefully will be in assistance uh, for your enjoyment of your new custom handgun. Uh, one of the first things I want to mention is uh, safety. Uh, anytime you handle a pistol, always make sure the firearm is unloaded. Uh, especially if you're going to clean it or handle it around the home. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of, uh, of things that uh, we prefer that you don't do with a pistol is to uh, drop the slide on an empty chamber with no magazine in the gun like this. That's extremely hard on the gun. Uh, puts a lot of undue stress on the barrel lockup in the slide stop area and also a lot of undue stress on the hammer hooks and the sear nose. Uh, the way we would prefer that you handle that, if you've got the gun empty and ready to put it up, is to go ahead and just ease the slide forward slowly. One last thing I'd like to mention too is that uh, dry firing is uh, you know, a, good, a good thing for your shooting and uh, will not hurt any of these pistols at all, so feel free to dry fire them as much as you wish. Next I'd like to uh, show you the proper loading technique. Uh, when you do get to the range, uh, this will be the way that, that we prefer that you handle the pistol. We're going to use dummy rounds here. Go ahead, if you um, 
have the slide locked back, go ahead and insert the magazine with the muzzle pointed safely down range. Have your finger completely out of the trigger guard. Point, point forward like that works real good. Grip the gun very firmly and thumb the slide stop down. It'll shame you around, safety on, you're ready to go. Uh, another method that we'd like to show you is uh, if you have the slide down, get ready to load. If you have the slide down, you're ready to load the gun. Go ahead and just cock the hammer, insert the magazine again, finger off the trigger, out of the trigger guard, cycle the gun like this, safety on, and you're ready to go. <clears throat> one other thing I'd like to mention to you, uh, every one of these custom handguns, when we get done uh, working on them and uh, they pass our final inspection after assembly, they're taken out to our test fire range and every single gun is fired a minimum of 50 rounds and every gun is zeroed. Um, therefore, we'd like for, for you to go ahead and uh, your first trip to the range, go ahead and, and uh, fire a few hundred rounds of ammunition that we recommend and uh, get a feel for the pistol. Uh, we prefer for you to do this before the gun is ever disassembled and uh, that way we think that you will uh, enjoy your first weekend with a pistol very much and uh, further in this tape we're going to show you the proper way to disassemble these pistols, uh, the proper lubrication points, uh, the proper cleaning and reassembly and uh, hopefully some other information that we have helped to you such as uh, spring rate charts you know if you want to shoot different types of loads and uh, some recommended hand loads and some recommended factory loads and uh, thanks again for uh, choosing Wilson's Gun Shop and hope you enjoy your new pistol. Okay, now we're going to go through uh, the proper disassembly of a 45 Auto 1911 style weapon uh, with a full length guide rod in it. And uh, while we got it disassembled, we'll go through the proper lubrication of a 45 Auto. Uh, the first thing you always want to do on uh, disassembling and cleaning or working with any firearm is to make sure it's unloaded. Lock the slide back, make sure there's no round in the chamber. Okay, the first step on disassembly will be to uh, move the recoil spring plug. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a set of safety glasses on. You always want to wear safety glasses anytime you're working with a heavy recoil spring. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the uh, bushing wrench over the barrel bushing, depress the recoil spring plug, and then turn it slowly. Let our other finger capture the plug, and then ease the plug out and release the spring tension. There we go, take the plug off. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and line up disassembly notch with the slide stop. That is right here. And on the other side, we'll push on the shaft of the slide stop and push it on through. There, pull the slide stop on out. Turn the gun upside down now. Receiver will slide right off. And go ahead and pull the recoil spring off the guide rod. And then pull the link up. The guide rod will slide right out the back. Push the barrel forward slightly and turn the bushing. And the barrel will run on out. That's got our uh, complete disassembly there. Now I want to discuss uh, proper lubrication. Um, a weapon that's uh, going to be used for uh, carry and anything but uh, extremely cold weather environments. Uh, I recommend our Ultima Lube Grease. This is a real uh, high-tech uh, lithium grease. It's the uh, best quality lithium we could find, and it's got a metal treat treatment additive that actually ionizes with the metal and uh, kind of forms a, a hard skin on the outside of the steel and uh, virtually eliminates metal-to-metal uh, -metal friction. Uh, it's also excellent for competition guns where you get them uh, real hot, you know, under repeated firing and that sort of thing. First off, we're going to go in and uh, lubricate the inside of the slide. I'm going to go in here and uh, lubricate in front of where the barrel head slides. Lubricate on top of the locking lugs. Just a very light coat there. And we're going to go down inside the groove of the slide. line of it there, down this side. OK, 
go. And then we'll go ahead and uh, usually put drop on the disconnector slot there. Go ahead and lubricate the barrel now. Go ahead and uh, put some on the top of the barrel head here on uh, slide stop lugs. This is your main bearing surface when the barrel goes into battery and is locked. So you want to have a, a good coat of lube there. And I'll put just like one drop of oil on either side of the link. As it swings, that'll work its way in. Then we will lube the uh, exterior of the barrel. Let's put a generous amount on there and just kind of rub it in with your fingers there. There we go. So we can go ahead and put the barrel back in the slide now. Put the barrel bushing on. The exterior of the bushing doesn't need any lubrication. Slide the barrel back into place. Okay, rotate the link up. Slide the guide rod in. You may want to put just a drop or two of, of oil on the guide rod. It's not really that critical to have much lubrication on it. Slide the recoil spring back on the guide rod. Snap it back into place. Then to rotate the link back forward. Okay, the slide assembly will be ready to assemble there. Okay, on the frame, we're going to go ahead and go down the inside frame rail. A little line of grease there, both sides. That. Okay, we're going to put a drop of oil on the disconnector, and we'll slide assembly upside down. Slide the receiver on. There we go. We'll turn it now, and we're going to make sure the barrel length there is lined up. The receiver hole. Slide the slide stop in. Slide the slide back until the Take down notch is lined up. Get the slide stop in line and just push it straight in. It'll snap in. Go ahead and push slide forward and you go ahead and snap the hammer down lower the hammer. Okay, we'll put our safety glasses back on. Okay, we want to put the recoil spring plug on. Now we're going to have to uh, depress the recoil spring plug and hold it captive with our thumb. You can see there, I'm going to ease the, the uh, bushing wrench over, hold it depressed down with the bushing wrench. Okay, we're going to rotate barrel bushing now until it pops into place, the plug pops into place. There we go. We'll cycle the gun a few times to work the lead into place. Okay, since we uh, completely uh, cleaned this gun with solvent, I'm going to go ahead and give this gun a real light coat of uh, Birchwood Casey sheath for uh, rust prevention. Okay, and we'll just wipe off the excess with a, you can either use a flannel rag or a silicone treated cloth, either one. Okay, there we have our properly cleaned and lubricated 1911 Auto. We've got one of our uh, stealth uh, officer's models here. This is a, a package that uh, we've developed for uh, concealed carry, for uh, like off-duty police and for uh, civilian uh, carry. Uh, there's quite a few things that we've done to this gun that enhance it over a standard cold officer's model. Uh, one of the features that we've done to this gun, we'll make sure it's unloaded here before we go handling it. Uh, we've added a 
tapered cone, heavier, it's a heavier barrel than the factory barrel, and it's a match grade barrel, so when it goes into battery and locks up, there's no movement of the rear of the barrel or at the front or anything. And uh, pretty well accurizes the gun. You know, you can typically expect one of these guns to, uh, you know, shoot somewhere around uh, two, two and a half inches at 25 yards. Uh, another thing that we've done that really enhances uh, the gun as far as uh, a self-defense gun, we've put our, uh, our tritium night sights on the gun. This is our uh, night eyes. Uh, the two dots at the rear are the uh, uh, yellow dots, and the, the dot at the front is an extremely bright green dot, so there's never any chance of any confusion uh, between which, which dot is on the rear, not the rear side and which dots are on the, the front. Um, another thing that we've done with this gun the uh, original factory recoil spring plug is real prone to breakage. And uh, we've re removed the original recoil spring plug and made a machining cut on the back of the uh, slide here that allows a uh, uh, full contact with the recoil spring plug there. And uh, we've also added a uh, full length guide rod. So that's the basic features that are unique to the stealth package. Uh, we'll go ahead now and, and show you the proper disassembly and reassembly of the stealth pistol if this is uh, the type of package that, uh, that you have already uh, purchased. Uh, the first step, you know, as I mentioned, is always make sure the firearm is unloaded. Okay, then we're going to take an uh, Allen wrench, and at the front here we have a, a hex head guide rod, two piece guide rod. We'll go ahead and uh, take the front half out. And uh, one thing to always caution you about, uh, the two-piece guide rods, there's never any need to over-tighten these things when you go to put it back on. You just barely snug it up. We'll take the front piece out, lay it aside there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead now and uh, lower the slide there. Put our safety glasses on here. We'll go ahead now and retract the slide back to the takedown notch. Push the slide stop out. Put it on out, lay it aside there. Okay, we're gonna put the pull the slide off and we're gonna cup our hand over the slide here to capture the recoil spring as, as it as the slide comes off of the receiver. We have a recoil spring captured now. We'll just go ahead and pull the spring up. Release the tension there. Pull the spring out. And here's the uh, flange plug that I was talking about. Instead of having just the small contact area that a factory plug has right there. It has full contact all the way around, and uh, we've never had one of them break. Go ahead and pull the plug out. And the barrel just comes out through the front like a standard 1911. And that's all there is to the proper disassembly of the stealth gun. Uh, it reassembles basically just like a uh, standard gun other than the, the way the guide rod works. Go ahead now and uh, put our safety glasses back on. Let's start the spring in. Compress the spring and then hold it captured in front of the lug there. Slide back on until it captures the spring there. I'm gonna track the slide back and get the uh, barrel link lined up. Slide the slide stop through, and uh, go ahead here. Get the slide stop back in, forward. Okay, we just start our uh, oh yeah, start our uh, guide rod in. Lock it open there. Go ahead and screw it on down. And as I mentioned earlier. We just barely cinch this up. I'm just going to barely snug it up. And, uh, there we have our stelt reassembled and uh, ready for use. Okay, we've got uh, three uh, Wilson Combat custom handguns here I'd like to discuss. Uh, we have two uh, tactical elites. We have uh, a tactical elite built on a Colt 1991A1. And, uh, this is one of our most popular packages uh, that we build. Uh, it's probably one of the best self-defense handguns available anywhere. Uh, it's got several unique features to it. It has our night eyes, uh, tritium night sights. Uh, the 
pistol has tapered cone lockup barrel that uh, enhances accuracy and reduces belt recoil. <coughs> also, we have uh, a tactical leap built on a uh, CMC frame. Uh, this gun is a uh, 15 round magazine capacity, so it uh, makes it a, a pretty powerful package. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, basically the same gun, just uh, with a high capacity frame. And the other pistol we have here is uh, one of our super grade AccuComp uh, DP guns here. Uh, this particular pistol uh, functions basically the same as the other, just has a tapered cone lockup and the captured guide rod assembly. Uh, only difference it has a compensator on the end of it and uh, is more orientated towards cosmetics. Uh, what we're going to discuss is the proper way to disassemble and reassemble these handguns when you uh, take them apart for normal maintenance. Uh, all three of these handguns, since they have our captured guide rod assembly, they all three disassemble and reassemble in the same fashion. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, gonna set these two out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, Tactical Elite uh, Colt apart and uh, go through the, all the procedures of disassembly and reassembly. First step, as always, you know, make sure the handgun is empty. Lock the slide back. Just take a, a takedown pin, which you should have received with your pistol, or it can be made out of any small nail, or a paneling nail actually works the best. And what we're doing here, there's a hole right in the guide rod here, right in front of the uh, frame skirt. We're going to insert this little pin in there, put it all the way in, like this. Okay, now we're going to release the slide with a slide stop here. We're going to, I'm holding the pressure off the slide. I'm going to ease it forward. What we've got now, the front of the guide rod plug is against that pin. That has a spring captured now. There's no tension on the recoil spring as far as the slide's concerned. We'll ease the slide forward, line it up with the takedown notch. Then we're going to push out on the uh, slide stop shaft on the other side. Push it on out. Pull the slide stop out. I'm going to turn the gun upside down now, pull the frame off of the slide assembly, rotate the barrel link up, and the entire guide rod and plug assembly will come out captured. Just push the barrel forward, the tapered cone barrel will come out of the front of the slide. And that's all there is to disassembly. Okay, now we're going to uh, discuss the method of disassembling the captured guide rod. Uh, You'd only want to disassemble it if you want to change to a different style of recoil spring, a different recoil spring weight, uh, or replace a wore-out recoil spring, or if you need to replace your shock buff. And uh, while I'm talking about the shock buff, I'll uh, show you one here that's uh, just about to get as worn as I like to let them get. Uh, you're starting to see a pretty deep impression on this one. Uh, just a few more rounds, and you're actually going to see you're actually going to see a cut right in here that's actually going to start cutting the, and then you, you're risking a chance of it uh, starting to tear apart. So this is a, would be a good time to replace this one while you had the gun apart. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and put our safety glasses on now. This is something that you definitely do not want to attempt without safety glasses on. What we're going to do, we're going to put the guide rod straight up and down like this. I'm going to try to depress the plug with this hand and I'm kind of supporting the bottom of the guide rod with my fingers there so it can't slide out from under me. I'm going to depress this and I'm going to pull the takedown pin out. I'm going to depress that, pull the takedown pin out and then ease the spring tension off. There we go. And you just pull the plug off. You can take your recoil spring off then. Replace it with whatever kind you need. You can replace your shock buff at this time if you need to. Slide the recoil spring back on. And when you go to reassemble it, we're going to make sure that we have the radius portion of the back of the uh, uh, recoil spring guide here, and we have the plug in this relationship. That's the because once you get it assembled under spring tension, it's hard to turn it on the on the guide. Okay, we're going to have it lined up like that. We're going to make sure that we have our takedown pin ready here. I'm going to go ahead now and depress this, pass the hole, put the pin in, there we go, we have it captured back. 
You notice we have the radius there, and we have the part of the plug that doesn't have a flange on it on that same side. Uh, all the uh, lubrication points are basically the same as the gun that we've already uh, went over. Uh, the only thing that uh, you should uh, do differently, uh, the lubrication on the taper cone barrel, just kind of watch the shiny areas on the barrel and basically that's where you need to lubricate, just wherever there's a little wear pattern on it. Usually it's about from this point here up to the flange. Okay, to go ahead and reassemble then, just slide the tapered cone barrel in, the barrel link up, slide the captured guide rod unit in, barrel link forward, slide the barrel and the guide rod assembly all forward in one unit. You'll notice here that uh, the flange of the plug is all the way up flush. You want to make sure that, that plug hasn't turned and is holding the plug back because if it is, when you get the gun assembled, you'll have the plug recessed below flush. And that The end of the plug should always be flush with the front of the slide when the gun is fully assembled. So we're going to slide all that forward. We'll take our receiver now, slide it on, turn the gun over, wiggle the barrel, the barrel link falls down into place, the slide stop through, ease the slide forward and line up the takedown notch, line up the slide stop there, tighten it in, retract the slide back and lock the slide open, and all we do is remove the takedown pin, and ease the slide forward, and then again, we make sure now that our recoil spring plug is flush with the front of the slide. If that is recessed and you go ahead and fire the gun, you can br actually break the flange off of the plug back here. So that's all there is to uh, disassembly and reassembly of uh, any of our tactical top pistols, our tactical elite, our uh, tactical special, and any of the AccuComp series of handguns. Okay, we've got uh, one of our uh, limited class guns here. This pistol is uh, designed for a USPSA uh, limited class competition. It's uh, basically one of our uh, master grade guns with a, a few extra frills. Uh, and then the main addition to it uh, is a tungsten guide rod. It's a, a larger than normal diameter and a much heavier guide rod than we put in most guns. Uh, the uh, purpose of this guide rod is to give the gun a little bit more muzzle weight and dampen the felt recoil and uh, reduce the muzzle rise. It's one of the few things that, that uh, you can do within the uh, limited class rules to reduce recoil on the handgun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and show you the proper disassembly and reassembly of one of these limited class guns. First off, you uh, lock the slide open like this. When you received your gun, you would have uh, received a little we call a takedown pin like this. It's a little uh, L-shaped pin that uh, should have come in a package with the gun. Uh, there's no way you can fully uh, disassemble this gun for field stripping without using this. What we're going to do now, we're going to uh, take this takedown pin. A pair of tweezers would probably even be handier than pliers. Use that in there. And into place. Yeah. Okay, now that we've got that in place, I'm going to go ahead and keep the gun upside down so it doesn't come out. We'll release the tension on the slide. You can see now as the slide came forward, the plug has actually went up against the pin and we've captured the recoil spring now. So from there, we'll go ahead and pull the top end off in the conventional manner. We'll line it up with a takedown notch, push the slide stop out and pull it out. Go ahead and pull the receiver off. Okay, we'll go ahead and ease the guide rod back now. Push it on back. There we go. It's tight because of the takedown pin. Okay, we'll pull it back behind the back edge of the barrel bushing. And we're going to go ahead and rotate the barrel bushing into the position that you put it in to re remove the barrel bushing. And then we'll just gently wiggle the barrel bushing and pull it forward. See it's coming out of the slide. Pull the barrel bushing on out. Okay, now with the link up, you can go ahead and pull the 
captured guide rod assembly out of the back of the gun. Barrel end can just be removed as normal. Okay, the reassembly, barrel back in as normal. The only thing different than a standard gun is we'll put the guide rod in before we put the barrel bushing back in place. Put the guide rod in, but we'll hold it back a little below the end of the slide. Slide the bushing back on. Get on down. Rotate the bushing into its normal position. We'll ease the guide rod forward, which the guide rod is actually what keeps the bushing from turning on one of these guns. We'll ease it forward there. And gradually push the guide rod forward a little bit until we got lined up about there. Go ahead and uh, start the receiver on. And uh, go ahead now. Rotate the barrel link down into position. Put our slide stop in. Snap our slide stop in place. Now we retract the slide. We've taken the pressure off our takedown pin and it should fall out now. There we go. Takedown pin out. Now the gun is fully reassembled. Okay. That's basically all there is to assembling uh, any of the handguns that have has the uh, tungsten carbide guide rod, any of our limited class guns. You'll notice that the end of the guide rod is actually protruding out flush with the barrel bushing. The guide rod itself is what keeps the barrel bushing from turning. And uh, there's your limited class gun fully reassembled. Learn the secrets of the master pistol smiths at Wilson's Gun Shop with this informative video series, Combat Customizing the 1911 Auto, as done by the professionals at Wilson's Gun Shop. Four different volumes containing over seven and a half hours of the highest quality pistol smithing work ever recorded on videotape. You'll see how to take an out-of-the-box 45 auto and watch the best pistol smiths in the world 
turned it into a custom combat 1911 for self-defense and competition. Wilson's Gun Shop, in association with Lenny McGill Productions, introduces an informative series of video programs designed to help all gun owners shoot better, understand how semi-automatic pistols operate, disassemble, lubricate and maintain, and then reassemble seven of the most popular semi-automatic pistols in the world. Glock, Beretta, 1911 style, Six Hour P226, Browning BDM and Browning High Power, Smith & Wesson 5906, and the CZ75 and its variants. Each tape is over 70 minutes in length, and each shows disassembly, how and where to lubricate, and complete reassembly. Plus, special segments on how to shoot, proper sight picture and sight alignment, fast shooting segments with Bill Wilson, and lots more. Wilson's Gun Shop presents two informative books featuring the more than 20 years of knowledge and insight of Bill Wilson, world-renowned pistol smith, competition shooter, inventor, and founder of Wilson's Gun Shop. The Combat Auto, with over 230 pages, reveals the secrets of how to fine-tune a 1911-style pistol for self-defense or competition. Many excellent photographs and to-the-point information about which modifications are worthwhile and which are a waste of money. The Combat Auto, written by Bill Wilson. As a follow-up to his first book and the Combat Customizing video series, Wilson's Gun Shop presents Combat Customizing the 1911 Auto, a book featuring everything you need to know about customizing the 1911-style auto pistols. Many excellent photos and straight, easy-to-follow direction on how to customize your pistol. 200 pages, Combat Customizing the 1911 Auto, written by Bill Wilson. Bill Wilson, Ken Hackathorn, and Lenny McGill Productions have teamed together to produce the most informative, technically correct approach to modern defensive pistol tactics and shooting techniques ever released on videotape. Twelve titles in all, packed with the latest on skills, drills, equipment, mindset, tactics, and shooting techniques, plus a whole lot more. Wilson and Hackathorn are both experts in their fields and Lenny McGill Productions is known worldwide for its high-quality firearms-related video productions. Together, they have created a series of programs that will entertain, amaze, inform, and make you aware of the tactics you need to survive a real gunfight. Basic Self-Defense Handgun Use and Safety is a two-part set covering the basic fundamentals of shooting, grip, stance, sight picture, sight alignment, and trigger pull plus informative segments on self-defense pistols and ammunition. What happens in a real gunfight? What gun is best for you? 9mm versus 45, and lots more. Start to think about how, how can I practice and train that's going to increase my chance of survival. Advanced Self-Defense Shooting Tactics and Techniques is a five-part series that takes the viewer to a new level in both shooting skills and tactical knowledge. Extensive discussions and demonstrations on the use of cover, shooting while moving, both towards and away from your target. You'll learn the advantages of a speed reload versus a tactical reload, aimed fire versus flash sight picture versus point shooting, using your vehicle for cover, shooting from a vehicle, two shots versus one shot. Over five hours in all of the finest pistol instruction techniques in the world. One of the best lines I've, I've heard, and it's a great one, is people saying, what's the best weapon you can have? It's your mind. Combat Ready Self-Defense Shooting Practice Drills is the first program ever that takes you into the practice routines of two of the finest pistol shooters in the world. Bill Wilson and Ken Hackathorn share 20 years of experience as they show you how to practice like a pro and increase your skill level faster and easier. You see in both the front posts. Oh yeah, on that kind of a shot, I'm getting a true sight picture. 
And have you seen the both front and rear sight? Oh yeah, front and rear sight, good alignment, you know, really paying attention to the front sight. Actually, just like I would be taking a 25 yard precision shot. 19 low light shooting and flashlight techniques is an up to date look at the equipment and tactics needed to successfully utilize a handheld light source in an armed encounter. Wilson and Hackathorn demonstrate the latest flashlights, their advantages and disadvantages, and how to use them for your tactical advantage. Sometimes you can't move a big distance, but if you're here and you're illuminated and all of a sudden you see a threat, one step to the right, one step to the left, either way to get out of that zone where the incoming far may be returned to. House clearing and cornering tactics and techniques is a 75 minute program that shows you how to enter a house or room and increase your chance for survival. Plus, you'll learn how to maintain cover, why to stay out of the fatal funnel, how to look for and avoid telegraphing target indicators, and the importance of maintaining distance from walls and cover. Plus, a very graphic demonstration of cover versus concealment as Wilson and Hackathorn shoot through ordinary walls and cinder blocks. So unlike the normal uh, indoor walls, sheetrock walls, which in reality are just concealment, concrete blocks, in fact, provide very good cover. Practical Concealed Carry is a 90-minute program that shows the basics of concealed carry, how to fit a holster to your body, over six different methods of carry, live fire drills, pocket holsters, safety, and lots, lots more. The virtue of the fanny pack is that if you're in that proverbial summer evening going out for dinner and you're just wearing a pair of shorts and a polo short or a t-shirt, the fanny pack gives you a means of carrying a little bit more substantial firearm and uh, having it readily available. Building the ultimate 1911 self-defense handgun is designed to save you time and money. The master gunsmiths of Wilson's Combat demonstrate advanced gunsmithing techniques as Bill Wilson and Ken Hackathorn discuss what are the most practical and necessary custom procedures for your 1911 handgun. Overall, this new series of 12 professionally produced videos is one of the finest resources of self-defense handgun shooting tactics and techniques in the world. Brought to you by Wilson Combat.